All right, well, we are here at the Goodwill today, and we've got Juliet with us. Ashton wanted to stay home and play uh. video games all day. So, <laughs> Juliet wanted to come, and I said, uh, we're going to be gone all day. She was down for it. So, we are at the Goodwill today. We are going to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Now, this location on Roarstown Road, I've been here twice before, and... Both times, the first time I left empty handed, the second time I left spending less than $10. So, I don't have high hopes. And we're gonna go ahead and see what we can find. Here we go. Well, we started off in the red and orange aisle and one of the first things I noticed was this cookie jar here. I did check the bottom to see if it was a brand that I recognized. It said it was made in China. And so I did pass on that. I did find this whale on the end cap. It was ceramic. I don't think it's very old, but I did like the style of it, and I thought it would look really cute in a beach house or somewhere on the ocean. Juliet found a flashlight. However, it did not work. And then I realized she did not have her mask on, and we had to fix that. Now back here, there was a round tile. And it looked to be handmade. I really loved the combination of the colors on this. I reached over the shelf for this picture. And unfortunately, you can see there is a giant crack on that. So it stayed behind. And here there were some little angels with harps. And they were marked made in China with a sticker on the bottom. I believe they were probably ornaments. Down here, I did turn this over, but it was plastic. And up here, I noticed this very fancy owl. And I like owls. If you haven't picked up on that yet, I don't know where you've been. I like owls. Juliet likes owls. And it was $1.99. I liked how pretty it was, so we grabbed this. Now, I did notice this little lion here. I did not recognize the marking on the bottom. I think it was probably a soap dish. I liked it stylistically, but ultimately there was a lot of wear and it was probably modern. There was another tile back here and it was not hand painted. Juliet found a shelf sitter and we have been doing a lot with shelf sitters recently. She also found two little owl candles and they were very adorable. She liked them and so I said, why not? You can have those. And then we discussed lighting them and watching them melt, and she was not a fan of that idea. I did like the color of this picture. Here I noticed this, and I wasn't sure what was going on here. It looked like a lot of the rice had fallen off. Now this was kind of cute. I think it was meant to be a pen holder, but it was straight from the horse's mouth. It was very kitschy. And so for 99 cents, I did stick that in the cart. Juliet had buckled in her owls. This ice bucket caught my attention because of the style. I liked it stylistically, but I did not like the bottom. And that was interesting. You can see Juliet is enjoying her task of pushing the cart. There was a little bag of deer here, and I didn't see any in there that really seemed like they would have a very high resale value. This angel, I loved the big eyes on it, but it was made in Republic of China. This down here looked to be a tiki mug, and some tiki mugs can be worth quite a bit of money. This one, however, was a Disney tiki mug. And then I found this, and I was so thrilled to find this because I actually have quite a collection of these Blanco Owl bookends that I put in my window, and just the way they catch the light, I'm obsessed. You can see there is a little bit of a chip there, but that doesn't bother me because I'm keeping it for myself, and it was only $2.99. They sell for quite a bit of money on eBay. Now we did turn down the blue aisle to see what else we could find. There was a little ship decor piece. I 
also noticed these, and I've actually seen these before. Um, they're modern, though, and I just wasn't really feeling them. Now back here, these were little wall hangers, and they looked like just really happy men with giant earlobes, and I liked them. They looked to be vintage. Juliet found a frozen pen. <laughs> she was excited about that. She also found this. <laughs> and then she found a hula hoop, and she wanted the hula hoop. And I said, you know what? Every little girl needs a hula hoop. Here you go. Now, in the bag section, I did find this pink duffel bag. And I... I'm not familiar with this, well, I am. I know what this brand is, but I'm not familiar with the resale value on these. So I did look this up, and it looks like it sells for about 40 bucks. So I only paid $6.99 for it, and it was in pretty good condition. You can see there, a new one sold for $44. I figured I could do all right on that. Now this Vans bag in the back was just a tote bag. It was very thin material. There was a quilted bag there and the boho stringy bag in the back was mud, but I had to check that out. I am still learning purses. I feel like I have to say that in every video. I'm, I'm, there's a learning curve and I'm trying to learn them. Now we did go back into the hard goods and I found these bookends. They were $3.99. I liked them. They were super heavy, but it was just two halves of an apple and I liked those. So I did stick those in the cart and this picture, which I had walked by before, but I didn't see it. And now I'm seeing it for the first time. It was $1.99. I liked the scene on it. It's kind of a Dutch scene. And it was a transfer I, for $1.99. I felt like I could make some money on that. And I nestled it right there in the coat. Down on the bottom shelf, there was a box of dishes. And they were a little bit tempting, but it, it would have been a lot of work to ship those. Well, I feel like we had pretty good luck there at that Goodwill. I'm really excited about that Blanco Owl. I usually put, the, I have a few of them in my window, but I don't have cobalt. So I was pretty thrilled about that. We have driven down the road now about 20 minutes and we are at the Ephrata Goodwill. It is super crowded because it is five o'clock and everyone is getting off work and this is their stop on their way home. Uh, but we are going to head in and see if we can find anything that we can flip yeah. for a profit. Right, Juliet? Yeah. We had really good luck here the last time, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Hopefully not too confident. <laughs> here we go. So Juliet and I started with the blue aisle, as you can see. And I noticed this planter down on the bottom shelf. I like the celadon glaze with the blue. I don't think this is very old. It probably would have had a dish underneath it to catch any extra water, but I liked it and I thought it would be a good booth item, so I did grab that. I also liked the glaze on that mug. Over here there was a planter and I thought it was just a cute little quail. It was a nice vintage piece. I was figuring I could probably get eight to $15 for this and it was only $1.99. Look, Brandy Snifter. Somebody get this for the dogs that me and Becca. They don't like to play with toys, sweetheart. Wait, what about Annalise? What about her? We could give this to the dogs. That's actually for washing dishes. Are you going to start washing dishes for me? No. All we right. could give this to the dogs. <laughs> it's stretchy, too. It is. All right, so see, let's go to the next aisle. This little hook with the animals, I wasn't completely sure about this, but it was $4.99 and I thought it was adorable. I decided to take this with me. I wasn't sure if it was for keys or something, not very heavy, obviously.
These were smoky looking glass and they were $1.99. It looked to be branded with Siba. I, I'm not sure what that is. So I didn't bother with those. Now Juliet found something on the end cap that she was very excited about. It was a carousel horse. And at the last thrift store we had been to, she had found a bunch of carousel horses, but she was very disappointed they were not musical. This giant carousel horse just happened to be musical, and so she did want it. And I allowed her to have it and put it in her room. This little piece of artwork right here was signed, and on the back it says Theorem. And I have bought and sold this in the past, and it does pretty well. It's kind of a silky material, and I'm not sure exactly the history behind it, but I know it dates back to the 1700s. There was a little Shih Tzu here on the shelf. It was sand to cast, and you could see the chipping there. It does have a tendency to chip unfortunately. There was a child's mug here. It had a nursery rhyme on it on both sides. This doesn't have a terribly high resale value, but there is some value there. And this tile had uh, balloons. I wasn't sure what all was going on there. Didn't see a whole lot of resale value in that. I checked these little votives just to see if they were possibly fire and light, and they were not. In the clear section, there was a tumbler that was actually plastic, which surprised me because it looked to be antique. And there was an eagle ice bucket. This was full of Franciscan Desert Rose plates. It was $4.99. I, I could have bought these. I could have resold them for a profit, but I did pass on these. I don't have to buy everything for resale. Sometimes I leave stuff behind. <laughs> now there was a little owl box down there at the bottom. Juliet thought I was pointing to the toy. <laughs> I thought that this was a nice little decor item. Obviously a hand-painted owl, and Juliet was very impressed with the stick being real. She had, had to point that out. The stick is real. Yes, yes, it is a real stick. I liked it. I thought it was neat. You can see she's also added a locker there to the cart, a pink locker. <laughs> she has a way of sneaking things into the cart. Now these back here were just little kind of ice votives, and I have looked at those before. I'm not sure what the resale value on those is. What do you think of this? Whoa. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I like that one too. I like that too. 99 cents. Do you like my hat? I think everyone loves your hat, sissy. <laughs> yeah. Stay away from the door. I don't want them to accidentally open it and hit you. This was curious. It was signed. It was not something I recognized. You can see it's very reflective surface but it says neato edo no clue what that means this plate i'm not sure if i missed it the first time i went by but you can see the markings there on the back this dates likely to the 1800s it's beautiful and i figured i could get 20 to 25 dollars for that it's in great condition and it matches the artwork i have there in the cart this leaf dish, I did check the back on this to see if there were any markings on it. There were no markings unless they were hidden under that Goodwill sticker. I wasn't really sure about it for 99 cents. I was like, oh wait, maybe there is a mark there. Yes, yes, it looks like there was a mold mark there. These boxes were empty. I had to check them. And then this, the texture looks like it could be fire and light, but it was plastic. There were a pair of milk glass mugs on the shelf. They were grog. I'd never seen these before, and I decided to grab them for 99 cents a piece. I did look them up after the fact, and a pair of two of these sells for 5 to $6. So it was a huge turnaround. I wouldn't say it was necessarily a mistake, 
but I learned that in the future I would probably pass on these, even at 99 cents. I'm not sure how I missed this the first time through, but there was a set of china there on the shelf. Occasionally, I will buy the serving pieces and try to sell those off. Everything was priced individually, but I just didn't really want to deal with it all. So after a little deliberation, I did leave it there. Juliet found this little Boyd's bear figurine that she wanted to give to her cousin. There were a few little gravy boats here, and even though I considered them, I left those behind as well. And this box was empty. I wasn't sure exactly what these were, if they were little jewelry containers or for toothpicks possibly. I just didn't know. I liked the tulips painted on this wooden box and I considered it, but I had a full cart and I really didn't need it. I probably could have resold it for a profit, but like I said, I don't need to buy everything. This was interesting. I wasn't sure exactly what this was. It kind of looked like an alien creature of some sort. That was Juliet's vote. She thought it looked like an alien. I turned it over to see if there were any markings on it. There were no signatures or any markings there. We had some little butterflies on the shelf. She eventually snuck it into the cart and I took it out. But uh, this was another planter similar to the first one we picked up. I looked in the box and it was in there. It was a little duck. And I decided that I would take this one to go with the other one that I found. And then I took the alien out. I mean, the alien was cool, but I just didn't feel it. I wasn't feeling it. All right, well, our total spend here was around 30 something dollars. We did not spend a whole lot of money, but I feel like we got a few good pieces. I'm excited for that artwork. I have bought and sold that in the past and done pretty well with it. And this piece was signed and it did have a bird. It was kind of a Pennsylvania Dutch motif. And I know that everyone says Pennsylvania Dutch is German. It's just, it's what we say around here. Um, but anyway, we also got a brandy snifter. We got some good stuff, so I'm thrilled with everything we got. I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head home. I do apologize for the video being short. We tried something new today. We tried some new thrift stores and stuff. And, and so it just it, it kind of threw off the day. And the videos were a little short. But tomorrow we will be back on track. And uh, I will see you guys then. Later.